चलिए दोस्तों शुरू करने विदाउट वेस्टिंग टाइम इन दिस वीडियो यू गोइंग टॉक टॉक अबाउट द प्रोग्रेसिव गेटवे सो हियर आई पुट द डेफिनेशन फॉर दिस टू बिकम द डिफॉल्ट गेटवे फॉर द एंड पॉइंट इन द फैब्रिक होल एंड पॉइंट कैन हैव एन कंसिस्टेंट गेटवे आईबी व्हिच विल द वन ऑफ अवे इन द लीफ स्पाइन आर्किटेक्ट एंड एसीआई यूजी पीआई वी लैंड फॉर द बीडी टू रिप्रेजेंट द प्रोग्रेसिव गेटवे ओके एंड प्रोग्रेसिव राउट आर रिक्वायर्ड फॉर द स्पाइन प्रोक्सी इफ लीफ हैव एन ईपीजी फॉर द बीडी बोथ प्रोग्रेसिव राउट एंड एसीआई गेटवे विल बी प्रोग्राम So here you can see the SNP which I have taken from the Cisco Live PPT. In this, uh, we have configured the BD1 under this tenant. On this BD1, we have configured the two subnets. Subnet one is 192.160.0.254, and second subnet is 192.168.1.254. Okay. And when we are checking it out in the show IP route VRF under the tenant and VRF1. Okay, with the BD part, BD1 is the part. Okay. Here you can see this is how you look like with the progressive route. So the progressive route. Is 192.160.0. So this will be used as a spine proxy to forward the traffic to the spine. Okay, and we already understand. Uh, we have covered the spine proxy, but how spine proxy work in our daily video. And this is how the progressive uh, SVI look like. And this VLAN is the uh, your uh, PI VLAN for the BD. Okay. If what if no progressive route, no remote endpoint. So here you can see that this endpoint C and point E want to communicate. If there is no contract is applied, okay. So on the leaf one, there will be only these are the routes, which leaf have an BD and EPG there on the leaf. So these are the route only leaf. Once the contract in place, so this five dot zero dot zero slash twenty four route route also go to this leaf. So this leaf can uh, if there is no remote endpoint running, it happens. So this leaf. We simply spine proxy for this 5.0.0 when this was want to communicate with this endpoint C one to do the endpoint E. So basically, we can set this with this help of progressive gateway with this function. So we can uh, save the routing table rib, rib size on the leaf. And these are the few traffic situation which depend on the L2 L3 traffic under the BD setting. So we have for the L2 switch traffic where the destination is uh, unknown MAC. Okay. If leaf does not have an entry for the destination MAC, so in the case of L2 unknown unicast option, if we have a BD may need to be set to flood, because with the option of uh, hardware proxy setting under the BD setting, L2 traffic will be dropped by the spine if there is no entry for the destination MAC in the group database. For L3 traffic, routed traffic already seen that how the green process or green process work from the spine. And for the R request within the broadcast, if for the R request and destination MAC is broadcast MAC, broadcast destination MAC, so R flooding option under the BD will control the flood behavior. So if the ACF in the AC fabric if we have enabled the R flooding, so that flood will be the in the under the BD on that under the BD only. So AC fabric will flood the R request within the BD when R flooding option enabled. If this option is disabled. Then in that case, so AC will perform the unicast routing as you see in the L3 routed case. Uh, so it will inspect the R header. Okay. Uh, so uh, the AC fabric will perform the unicast routing again. The target type will be in the R header instead of flooding. And as you use as this R flooding option is disabled. So if target IP silent host, so same process will be followed like R clean process which we have seen in the last video. 